This briefing is, a second, like I mentioned, is the second in the series of our three planned press conferences to be hosted by Yaga Africa. We equally invite you to join us at the same location on Sunday tomorrow um, at 1 p.m. Uh, when Yaga Africa will share its findings from the observation of the conduct of the governorship elections. For governorship, governorship elections, Yaga Africa deploys 682 observers across 642 local government areas in 29 states where governorship elections are conducted. This includes 642 stationary observers and 40 roving observers. Yaga Africa will also deploy observers to 642 local government areas resort collation centers and 29 state resort collation centers. Our observers were properly trained to observe the entire elections, election day process from opening to setup of the polling unit, accreditation, voting, announcement, and posting of the official result, and will send in report via coded text messages to the National Data Center. This will enable Yaga Africa provide timely confirmation on the conduct of elections in the polling units observed. This statement is an update on the midday mid situational assessment of the opening of polls for, the, for this election. Our findings. This report contains initial watching the vote findings as at 11.30 on election day today, with complete reports received from polling unit visited by watching the vote observers in 642 local government areas in 29 states. One, as of 7.30 a.m., Yaga Africa watching the vote observed Observers reported that INEC officials had arrived at 368 of the 663 polling unit visitors across the 29 states. By 8.30 a.m., 426 of the 663 polling unit visitors have commenced accreditation of voting. 584 of the polling unit visited had four or more polling officials present, of which at least two are female. The polling unit visited in Northwest geopolitical zones had fewer women as polling officials than other zones. In addition, 552 of these 584 polling unit visited had security personnel present. Out of the 584 polling unit visited, APC party agents were seen in 442 polling units and PDP party agents in 568 polling units. Essential materials, register of voters, indelible ink, or marker pen, polling official stamps, um, voting cubicle, ink part, presidential um, ballot, um, related ballots uh, were present in 577 of the 885 polling units. Specifically, smart card readers were present in 583 polling units were visited. Critical incidents. Yaga Africa had received the following critical incidents from NOHA observers. One, missing and incomplete materials. Election materials were missing in the morning in Ungo Okpala local government area of uh, Imo State, which led to no elections in Ward 06, 10, and 11. Upon investigation, the SPO and the electoral officers were discovered to be involved in the process and were arrested by the police. This was confirmed by INEC officials in the state. Reports on missing ballot papers were also received during the distribution of materials at Rufu Rak and uh, Usa Rak of Taraba State. In Kosafe local government of Lagos State, INEC officials, as at 12 noon, were yet to deploy as parts of ballot papers were missing. 
report of incomplete, incomplete ballot, uh, ballot papers were received from those locations. Two, INEC ad hoc officials refusing to deploy. Report of INEC ad hoc officials protesting non-payment of their monies or allowances from previous elections were received from Agege and Oshodi Isolo local government of Lagos State. Destruction and burning of election materials. Reports on burning of election materials were received from Omogara Ward 2, affecting 13 polling units within this ward, Oriozo Ward, and Eka Ward, all in Eza North local government areas in a Boeing state. Voting without smart card reader. Watching the vote observers reported voting without smart card reader ongoing in customs to polling unit 028 Bama local government area. Custom 2 polling unit with code number 028. Ballot box snatching. This was reported in Gidan Sarki. Polling unit 006 and 09 in Soba local government in Kaduna State. Threat to media reporters. Reports on adoption of six journalists were received from Ahoada West local government areas in River State. Preliminary recommendations. Speedy resolution of logistic challenges. Yaga Africa calls on INIC to resolve issues related to shortage of election materials non-payment of allowances for ad hoc officials and malfunctioning of smart, read, smart card readers. Two, resort collation. As collation begins in a couple of hours, Yaga Africa reiterates its call to INIC to ensure strict compliance with the electoral guidelines on resort collations. The resort collation centers should be accessible to accredited observers, media, and party agent. INEC should respond to report of substitution of trained coalition officers midway into elections in some states. Three, application of margin of, margin of lead principle. Yaga Africa calls on INEC to ensure coalition officers are guided by the guidelines and regulations on management of margin of lead principle. Results should be declared should and win. Should not. Results, sorry, results should not be declared. I take it again. Results should not be declared and winner returned where the total number of registered voters in council polling unit will affect the margin of lead between candidates. This is in consonance with section 26 and 53 of the 2010 Electoral Act as amended. Furthermore, Yaga Africa urges INEC to ensure that where the scenario in the INEC guidelines on cancelled ballot provides for the elections to be conducted the following day, that such elections are conducted in, <coughs> are so required to, re to reduce the threat of disenfranchisement of voters for no fault of theirs. INEC should ensure the public is duly informed in a timely manner. Posting of polling unit results using form EC60E, Yaga Africa urges the Commission to fully comply to the electoral guidelines for the conduct of the general elections by posting form EC60E series in all coalition centers. This recommendation is made based on watching the vote presidential election observation findings of results not posted in 19% of the observed sample polling units. Yaga Africa undertook the watching the vote project to provide Nigerian voters, presidential candidates, political parties, civil society, Gubernatorial and other candidate INEC and INEC with independent information on the conduct of the elections. The Watching the Vote project, like we always emphasize, is driven by data, 
for all Nigerians beholding to none. Thank you very much. Lori, may I meet you? I'm Christopher Fomonio with the National Democratic Institute. Okay. And I'm um, John Tomaszewski with the International Republican Institute. Okay. I know you're observers, but um, what is your impression so far? Well, it's, uh, I mean, it's it's different from the February 23rd election, and um, but I think we're really happy to be here as part of um, sort of an international group uh, uh, with uh, about 20 observers across 10 states and um, in partnership. I mean, the EU is also observing here, so we're happy to sort of have that sort of international presence at, during this really important um, state-level elections here. Okay. And what do you have to say? Well, I, I'd say, you know, we are observing in Abuja and uh, also in the neighboring state of Niger, Niger state, uh, Suleja, we just came back from Suleja. And, uh, you know, you get a snapshot of what's happening around the, cap the FCT. Uh, but we're also mindful of the fact that this is only a snapshot in time uh, for the polling units that we have visited. And obviously we have to wait for our colleagues and other team members who are scattered across the country to also send in their reports to get a sense of what may have transpired in the states mm -hmm. in which we deployed observers. Mm -hmm. But we're really pleased to be here. Okay, thank you thank for you. not abandoning us at this point. Um, I would like to ask you about what you feel about the uh, announcement just now that there are incidences in Lagos, Koshofe, local government area and uh, places like that. What would be your recommendation to stop? <laughs> you know, it's still very early. Uh, okay. in the process. I mean, uh, we after the February 23rd um, election, we put out a number of recommendations. After this is all done, we'll go back and look again. We met with the INEC chair uh, just the other day to talk about ideas even moving forward after the election. Um, it's important to note that IRA and India have observed every major election mm -hmm. in this country since 99. And, um, you know, we're not going anywhere. So we're going to continue bringing these lessons learned and, 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 and talking with our partners, our Nigerian partners here on the ground. Okay, thank you. I would just add, yes, I would just add that, um, you know, uh, the fact that incidents happen on election day, it's, it's worrying. Um, and I think that in the past we've always appealed to uh, the security services to conduct themselves professionally. Uh, we've always appealed to political parties to train their party agents so that they contribute positively to a good election. Uh, but I think we also need to raise the level of appeal uh, to citizens, to Nigerians, because they should every Nigerian should see the election as a civic duty, as almost something that has to be handled you know, religiously, like an egg, yes. with care and passion. Yeah. Um, and so we shouldn't be in a position where citizens have to go up go out and disrupt their own elections. So I think it's an appeal that should also be made to ordinary citizens to respect the civic responsibility of their fellow compatriots and create an environment in which every Nigerian that wants to vote should go out and cast their ballot. Oh, fantastic delivery there. Now, in a nutshell, what is your goodwill message to Nigeria in all of this? Well, you know, this is, it's been 20 years non stop that Nigerian democracy has resurfaced and um, our goodwill message would be that every Nigerian, everyone, every single Nigerian of the 180 million Nigerians on the surface of the earth contribute to strengthening this country's democracy because Nigeria has so much to offer to its people but also to this continent of Africa and to the world because you know the world also looks up to Nigeria so uh, that would be a goodwill message and we hope that it resonates with the Nigerian people fantastic thank you so much thank for you. well thank wishes you. thank to you too yes. thank you yeah. oh yes